Rabbi from Couldn't Be Paris, and today we are making a woven challah for Rosh Hashanah. I'm using colored dough to make it easier to see which strands go in which direction as the challah progresses. To start out, you want to make a tic-tac-toe board with the strands, two going in each direction, but you want them to be in a lattice pattern. So if you look at this green strand, you'll notice that it's going over the yellow and under the red, and the blue is doing the opposite, under the yellow and over the red. That's what's going to give you the woven challah. So to start out, you're going to work in a clockwise direction. You're going to take the strand that is underneath, in this case the blue, and take it over the strand that is over, in this case the green. Then moving in a clockwise direction, you take the next under strand, the yellow, over the next over strand, the red. The next under, the green, goes over the blue, and the next under, which is the red, goes over the next over, which is the yellow. Now, you've done one full rotation, so what you're going to do is reverse direction. So now you're going in a counterclockwise direction, and you're going to do the same thing. You take the under strand, which is the green, and you go over the over strand, which is the red. Depending on the spacing of the dough, you may need to rearrange a little bit to make that work. You're going to take the under strand of the yellow over the over strand, which is the green. The under strand, the blue, goes over the yellow. And the under strand, the red, goes over the blue. Now we have two full rotations. What you're going to do is turn around and go back again in the clockwise direction, doing the same thing. So you take the under strand, which is this red, and it goes over the over, the other red. The under strand, the blue, goes over the other. The under strand, the yellow, goes over the other yellow. And the under strand, the green, goes over the other green. If you have a lot of dough left at this point, you can reverse and go back in the other direction. Um, I don't have much left here, so we're going to pinch it off and finish the challah. What you're going to do is you're going to pinch each set of strands together and pull them into the middle, pinching tight so that they hold. Now the challah doesn't look like much at this point, but what you're going to do is flip the whole thing over, and there you have a woven holiday challah.